Hi, it's me Suraj Dev. In this video, we are discussing about Flutter. Yes, what is Flutter? Flutter is a mobile framework or cross-platform mobile framework is developed by Google and it is released on 2018 onwards and the programming language used in Flutter is Dart and the Dart is also developed by Google. The main highlight of Flutter is it is cross-platform so we can build Android as well as iOS app in one code base. Yes, that is the main advantage of Flutter. So first of all, we are discussing about how to install the Flutter in our computer. So go to flutter.dev and we can see the Flutter website and go to get start. Then we can see uh, the installation instructions and click on the Windows section because we are using Windows. So the next instruction is system requirement. The basic system requirement for developing Flutter in our computer is operating system minimum is Windows 7 and having disk space of 400 MB and need some tools like Windows, PowerShell, Git for Windows. Yes, we need just either of these uh, tools because we need Git for installing the SDK means Flutter SDK and we can create a folder in C SRC we already installed Flutter and we are already running the Flutter in our computer but I am trying to uh, tell you the uh, how to install the Flutter so first of all create this uh, folder means in C drive create a src folder then open the github on that sorry github bash on that folder and paste git clone iphone b stable https github.com bar flutter bar flutter dot git and just running we get a folder like this and add this path copy the path and add it on environment variable path variable and add it on path variable so open the path and just paste the path of flutter bar bin here and next we need to set the android sdk and we already installed the Android Studio and add the uh, variable means and need a need to add the Android home variable in our environment variables and add it by here like this Android underscore home and uh, variable value as user a uh, username add data bar local forward slash android slash uh, sdk and press ok and just we need to add the path also because we need to run the uh, emulator by vs code so we need to add the path of uh, tools, platform tools and emulator for this. So by this uh, percentage Android home percentage uh, forward slash tools and also platform tools and emulators. So next uh, click OK. Then the 
Android uh, part is completed means the environment setting of Android SDK is completed and press OK OK next uh, we need to open the Visual Store code and by this we need to install the plugin of Flutter in our uh, editor means we are using uh, Visual Studio code and we can use with the uh, Android Studio also so just installing this plugin means the we have flutter plugin in uh, visual studio code by uh, click on uh, extensions and search with flutter then we can see a flutter uh, extension or plugin in visual studio code and just install this plugin and also we can see if you are using Android Studio you can see also the plugin name as Flutter so next we can create the Flutter app by just Ctrl Shift P on Visual Studio Code then we can see the command palette and then just type flutter then we can see the options flutter new project flutter new web project and also flutter open widget sample etc then click on uh, flutter new project then type the name of the new projects the instructions to uh, create uh, the name of flutter project is use only small letters and also just uh, using space by underscore so we are creating the flutter name sorry flutter project name as hello world and press enter then we need to uh, we need to select the path of where we install the project so create this uh, project in this folder so select this folder and select then we can see the flutter is installing on that uh, folder means creating the project in flutter yes is running flutter pub get means the pub get is installing the packages means external packages like material library and also some other packages to develop the uh, flutter app yes all done but some uh, other uh, dependencies are running yes flutter run uh, we can see in order to run your application type cd dot flutter run your application code is in lib main dot dot this is the starting point of flutter application means we can just need to update the applications uh, code or code base here means with library folder is lib folder and yes some other uh, packages are installing that's why we can see the analyzing the codes in uh, Visual Studio code yes they are all cleared then we can see no other uh, red mark here in uh, project folder so next for running this application just press F5 
then C we can uh, create a Android emulator or we can uh, or we if you have already emulator then see this uh, emulator name if you are not already created just uh, run the Android studio and create a emulator in AVD manager yes by configure AVD manager yes we can create the virtual device by create virtual device and select the uh, device name as a device definition as PA pixel or nexus or any other device means we are choosing pixel 2 and then next then we can see the uh, OS versions as Pi, API 29, Oreo, Nord, etc. We need uh, Pi version, at least Pi 28, API 11 version to develop Flutter app or the latest version of Flutter support. So just we uh, select Pi version and next, then we can see the AVD name as device name as we can choose anything in this type by uh, pixel 2 or pixel whatever uh, we want and just finish then we can uh, create the AVD manager but we are closing this panel because we already have the already created the uh, virtual device as PX2 and just close this panel and come back with a visual studio code and just press f5 then we can see the created name px pixel 2 mobile emulator and click on the start pixel 2 emulator then we can see the launching waiting for pixel 2 to connect and etc so waiting for uh, opening the virtual device yes the virtual device is open and go to the debug console yes we can see that it is initializing the gradient on Android SDK build for by 86 in debug mode means it is an 86 version means uh, it's 32 version of Android Studio sorry sorry Android emulator so it's running this file this main dot dot file and explore yeah, we need to wait for running this Gradle means after running the Gradle task assembled debug means it's just uh, creating the assembled uh, version in Android Gradle part in this time the external plugins and the dot folder or the dot file means library files we uh, converting this main dot dot file to ios as well as android means uh, we are using uh, windows so we, uh, we can only develop uh, flutter with the uh, android application means for uh, developing ios uh, app we need mac so uh, by create by f5 means pressing F5 running the uh, flutter app yes we can change uh, see the installing build bar app bar output slash apk bar apk app dot apk yes the app is installed and we can see the build the app uh, iphone debug dot apk and uh, yes we can see the uh, running the application
Yes, we have one more option for developing uh, Flutter APK as we can see the dev tools and it's uh, inbuilt with this uh, Flutter plugin in Visual Studio. As we can see, open dev tool. Yes, starting dev tool. Yes, it's open in web browser. Yes, sound good, the performance overlay and etc. Details are showing in uh, Flutter dev tools. And it's actually the dot dev tools. So performance overlay and uh, slow animation, debug paints, paint baseline, etc. are here. And just we can see the Flutter app. Yes, this is the Flutter app we uh, installed in the Android device. Yes, we can see plus it's increasing the count. And this is the basic uh, application or basic uh, code we have at first of uh, installing the uh, Flutter app. So we can see the My App, Flutter Demo as title, and the Flutter Demo homepage. And this is the My Homepage title. By this way, we can create and install the Flutter in our computer as well as creating the application in uh, Android with uh, Windows. So, the main advantage and the main feature for the uh, Flutter is we can reduce the uh, expense for developing the application means the human power as well as uh, the time means it is a great advantage means we can develop two uh, platform application means android as well as ios app by this uh, framework and also we have a mature uh, documentation in Flutter uh, website also means their own Flutter documentation so it's helped to uh, learn more about the development for uh, Flutter and also we can see the uh, there is large list of uh, plugins means you can see pub.dev yes this is the dot packages and uh, there is option as flutter web and all we can see the flutter packages by flutter tab and there is large list of uh, packages we have on flutter so it will help to searching the packages the whole flutter community will update these uh, repositories by here so we can easy to install anything means uh, we want to uh, develop that's it and the more flutter uh, android packages and some other uh, app tricks are coming in uh, next videos so stay tuned to this channel if you like this video please like and share to your friends don't miss to subscribe also with click on bell button for notifications so bye for now thank you